Hi everybody, it's Andy Ford Video and we're going to make a text animation. It's a pretty simple one that's going to make the text sort of expand or explode out, if you will. Here we are with the text layer and we're going to look at animating position, opacity, and tracking. As we open up our layer, we'll see this animate word with a button next to it. We click on that, we can select and add position and then add opacity and then add tracking because this is what we'll be dealing with. Now, with tracking, we can bring the tracking down into the negative so that these individual letters start to overlap because remember, we're going to start with them compressed and then expand outward. To negative 200, that seems pretty good. And then under range selector, we will see a start percentage. So we can keyframe start percentage here at zero and then go down a few frames and make it 100%. Have another keyframe there. You can see that makes our text expand outward. We can also go to position and lower this so it can kind of pop up while it's expanding. So now we have a rising up and expanding outward and likewise we can put opacity down to 0% and now it will fade up as well as doing all the other actions. We expand out our keyframes, it takes longer. So we can control the length of this animation that way. But something's quite missing. This could look a little better perhaps, and I think it's if we had this expansion work really fast. So we sort of ramped into the expansion it exploded out really quickly and then kind of ramped down. So of course, making it ease in and ease out is simply done by easy easing our keyframes. But we can go to our speed graph and really speed up the middle part. So if we click our graph editor icon up here, we will see our speed graph. If you're not seeing that, you might be on value graph. So you simply right click and go to speed graph. And we see the effect of our ease keyframes here, right? We're getting into it and then getting out slowly. But the middle part of our animation is taking a while. We can click on a point here and then this outer handle, we can drag to warp our curve and steepen our curve. We can do the same with the other handle. And so now what we've done is really created a fast portion in the middle. So we can see we're easing in and easing out still, but the beginning is happening quickly. And that gives us animation that pop that we need for that explosive or expansive action. So here's another quick way to reveal and animate text. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.